What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I want to talk about reading your shot. So it may surprise you that when I'm pulling shots at home for myself or for guests, I rarely use a scale. My main focus is on time and blonding, and I find that chasing numbers really deters from the enjoyment of the process, the craft, and sometimes it's just plain discouraging or downright frustrating. So what I want to show you today is how to read your shot and spend less time chasing ratios and numbers and more time enjoying the fruits of your labor. First, let's talk about our coffee choice. So if you're using a blend, blends give you a lot more room to play. If you want to pull a ristretto or a lungo or a standard espresso, a blend is a great option. If you're doing a single origin, like let's say I'm doing this Intelligentsia Ethiopia Tecurambisa, you are gonna wanna pull it maybe a little bit longer. In my experience, the single origin espressos, especially these fruitier, uh, more acidic espressos, are best pulled just a bit longer than your standard espresso. If I can only emphasize one thing in this video, it's that espresso is an exploration process. This coffee even came with a nice little pamphlet that gave me recipes for their ristretto, their normale, and their lungo. I'm just going to toss this thing to the side. We're just going to do this the old fashioned way. We're just going to dive in using our taste buds, our understanding of extraction, and see where it takes us. So let's prep up our shot and get everything rolling. The one thing I always do is weigh the input of grounds. So using that as a starting point, that's key to any sort of success I feel like in pulling consistent shots or getting a consistent outcome. From there, you kind of have some room to play. So we're using 18 grams in and we're gonna pull our first shot. So the first shot's dropping at 17 seconds, which is a bit late. And I tend to aim for a 10 second drop on average. So overall, this is a 45 second shot, had some sour flavors, lacked some sweetness, which is a clue to me for over extraction. So we're gonna pull a second shot, we're gonna course it up a little bit. Always remember to purge after you make adjustments to your grinder. We're gonna get our second shot rolling, 18 grams again, we just went a little bit coarser to try and get rid of that over extraction and run just a little bit faster. Next, we're gonna pull the shot. So we're gonna watch this as it blondes throughout the process. The first drop came right at 10 seconds, so that's perfect. That's what we're aiming for. You'll notice the dark flow, it's slowly becoming a more caramel color. Next, the flow rate starts to increase at about 20 seconds. We're getting a bit lighter, but it's still early. We're looking at 27 seconds at this point. There's still a bit of brown in it, so it's not fully blonde yet. And we let it ride just a bit longer and now it's blonde. So we're gonna stop the flow and we're looking at a 43 second extraction time. Now, I know what you're thinking, this seems like a long time. It seems obvious like it could be over extracted, but from looking at it, it's got some of the dark crema, it's got some of the light crema. It looks like a pretty balanced shot. So the only thing I can do is taste it. And for me, the sourness is gone, the sweetness is balanced out, and there's clear notes of orange, which was mentioned on the bag. So overall, this is a great shot. All right, let's do a quick review of what we talked about in this video. So for one, recipes are great. They're great starting points. Don't get caught up in them. The other thing is, if you're gonna use different coffees all the time, which I like to do, understand what those different roast levels and different coffees mean. Understand that elevation, if it's a higher coffee and a lighter roast, it's gonna need more time to extract. A darker coffee with a lower elevation might need less time. Blends are a little bit easier to work with. Single origins are a little bit harder in terms of finding those perfect shots. So it's just a matter of exploration. You know, get outside the box, try different coffees, try different ratios, and just start trying to understand extraction outside of that ratio. That's a trap that I fell into very early on with espresso, and it just kind of ends up being sort of frustrating and slightly boring. So explore your espresso as usual. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Spromethius, the blog at Spromethius.com. New videos every Friday. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.